the four phase of water implications for energy life and health wait a minute water has a four phase this just blew my mind wait till you hear this Present future Gnosis. It's your host Gnosis, and this is going to be a really good one, ladies and gentlemen. As you just seen that headline, truly there, we have just discovered the fourth phase of water. Yes, and I, this just blew my mind too, and I really wanted to share this all with you guys. So, what's really interesting is that what we take for granted, water, each and every day, as soon as you wake up, you drink water. Water contains 60, more than 60% of our body. And it's just interesting that like there's, we take it for granted and how that different forms of it could actually solidify of how we feel. So, so what is structured water? Well, structured water, also known as hexagonal water, vortex water, Easy water and gel water. And now remember gel water because that's going to be really important. Gel water. Almost close to crystal. But I don't want to harp on that. Just remember that because we're going to dive deep on that later on. Is a form of water that is different from H2O for molecular structure H302. Discovered by Dr. Gerald Bullock at the University of Washington. H302 is referred to as the fourth phase of water. A form of water beyond liquid, solid, and vapor. It is 10% more dense than H2O and has more dissolved oxygens. Structured water is a hydrating, energized water. Let me say that again. H2 has it is a structured water, it is a hydrating, energized water found everywhere in nature, from waterfalls, rivers, and oceans to plants, animals, and even humans. Now, this is crazy because what this doctor found is this type of water that has a molecular structure that is found totally in nature and it's like all around us and I just want this harp so much that why isn't this put in the forefront why are we just discovering this but as you can see about Dr. Gerald in his book the four phase of water beyond solid liquid and vapor I mean like this guy just tells it all I mean like his discovery is just mind-blowing about the facts about water and that there's actually a more cleaner version of water that we can all partake in and how it is better to be honest with you well it actually works better with our bio biochemistry of our of our body and i but how does water get structure and form of h3o2 well so we know that h3o2 is natural and organized form of water that is found in nature yes but how does it actually get h2o to H3O2. H2O, as we are taught in elementary science class, is two hydrogen atoms that have joined with one oxygen, but they aren't stable. The atoms form different H2O molecules very fast. They never hold hands for more than a split second in time. It is a chaotic relationship that is very disorganized. While H2O has some sort of structure, it's important to note that that kind of structure that is most efficient in hydrating is the hexagonal structure formed when water is structured back to structured water h3o2 is formed when electromagnetic waves or energy causes the electrons surrounding the hydrogen in the water molecules to increase their energy and change how the hydrogen molecule is connected to other water molecules 
This is called changing bond angles. Changing bond angles is a specific way, form, structure of hexagonal water. Using a UV light laser, we are able to measure specific changes in molecule bond angles to confirm the water is structured now. Wow. And then I want to show you all about this video about Dr. Jira, Jira going a little bit more into detail, but just to take a step back right here, the H02 is formed when electric magnetic waves or energy causes the electrons surrounding the hydrogen in the water of the molecules to increase. Now, that's going to be important because what I always harp so much is that water is in our body over 65 percent is in our water and water is a great conductor of what electric magnetic frequencies and if you now let me show you a video about dr Gerald giving you more an explanation about easy water as you'll see here also solar power do we use light to get some of our energy and I'll show you that we actually do we engage in the first step of photosynthesis that is the splitting of water into the negative and and positive mother nature when when she created us hasn't forsaken the this uh, wonderful mechanism of using light to to get energy and I'll show you also that that leads to many insights in terms of our own uh, health. Everybody knows that our body is mostly uh, water. And in our laboratory at the University of Washington, we're studying water, and we came upon something really interesting. When water meets certain materials, these, these are hydrophilic or water-loving materials, which means that if you have a surface and you drop the water, it spreads out instead of beating up the way it does, for example, on Teflon. So what happens is that the water molecules split into the positive and negative, and the negative ones line up, uh, as you see here, next to the hydrophilic uh, material. This is uh, actually negatively charged water is, in fact, a different phase of water. It's not even H2O, it's actually H3O2 is what we, what we found. And we refer to this uh, fourth phase, if you will, of water that is beyond solid, liquid, and vapor. This fourth phase is semi-crystalline water as EZ. So what's EZ? EZ stands for exclusion zone. And the reason we called it exclusion zone when we found it is as this phase of water builds, it pushes out everything that's inside of, of, of the water, that is uh, solutes, particles, whatever. And so we called it logically exclusion zone. And EZ uh, is, well, easy to remember. So uh, essentially, this is a potential energy because it's just like a battery of water. And all batteries, of course, need to get charged. And the question is, well, where does the energy come from to charge this battery? Your cell phone needs to get charged. It's a battery, and this is another battery. And the answer came from a student who was doing something that he was not supposed to do. So he was carrying out an experiment, and this experiment is uh, using some hydrophilic material and putting water next to it, just as I've, I've shown you. He took a lamp. The lamp was sitting right next to the experimental chamber, and just for fun, uh, he shined the lamp, on the chamber, and what, what he saw was really astonishing. He noticed that because of the illumination, uh, the exclusion zone, or EZ, expands. And it expanded hugely, and when he took the lamp away, it came back to its uh, original um, uh, shape, which, which is a thin band of EZ, you see at the upper left, r running parallel to the surface. So, well, it didn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that you shine light, it gets bigger, and maybe the light is what's responsible, the photons are responsible for providing the energy to grow this uh, exclusion zone. So obviously we were really impressed by this um, uh, student's uh, result, and we began to study different wavelengths of light, ranging from the ultraviolet through the... Wow. wow. Now, after watching that, all you can do is just be stunned. He, they clearly found this different form, this different stage of water by doing the instruments that they found from his students. Like, this is crazy, ladies and gentlemen. 
and that what's really interesting is that I took a step back and I had to dive deeper and I was just like hmm if all of this could be happening too what could be the form of all of it and then I thought about it and I was thinking about crystals and yes this is going to sound a little people going to be like this is a little bit pseudo but I actually made a video talking about crystals and how crystals are actually inside the body what is everybody knows about quartz crystals now what is the main element in quartz crystals silica silica is an abundance in the earth crust and guess where else that we find silica ladies and gentlemen inside your body I mean look clearly you can see this silica is a main ingredient main element for for crystals and it's the main ingredient for element that's right in the earth's crust I mean like come on you got to put this together so then, so then I said this, is there anything to back this up? And as you see here, x-rays indicate that water can behave like liquid crystals. Hmm. So that's what, even, that's what got me thinking even more about liquid crystals. And then the more proof is just more to bear. And as you see here, is the body a liquid crystal until now science has not been able to determine where our memories are stored in the body sometimes some scientists now contend that our memory as well as our consciousness hmm, is seated in the crystalline structure of water of the body oh also it has been found that the body can respond at speeds far higher than what is neurologically possible and scientists theorize that this is also possible because of the crystalline structure of the water in the body I mean like come on and then when I just found out ladies and gentlemen I was just like what water stores information ladies and gentlemen you're not you're not only getting fuel from food you're actually getting it from the water that you consume daily and then now that we found a different type of water easy water that is more potent one of the most potent types of water that our body chemistry could ever ask for I mean like this goes hand in hand ladies and gentlemen so and then it doesn't even stop there as you see here, it seems that water might store any information because molecules in the clusters can be connected in various structures. Experiments have shown that the configuration of molecules changes very easily and quickly depending on the impact on it. I mean, like, what more can you ask for, ladies and gentlemen? And I was just like, wow. More confirmation about this, and it doesn't even end there. I got more proof to show you guys. You know how I do on my channel, as you see here in another article. Scientists are open about the notion that the water might be a programmable storage media. What I'm telling you, people, you just got to do the homework, man. You just got to do the research, but let's continue right here. It seems that water might store any information because molecules in the clusters can be connected in various structures. Experiments have shown that the configuration of molecules changes very easily and quickly depending on the impact on it. I mean, come on. So, let's put all this together. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a four phase of water that we just found by Dr. Gerard Pollock. And finding this water, it shows that it is actually more potent and more, way more better. And that how it has all these hexagonal structures as you've seen in the photos. I mean, like, this is a symmetry, people. Like, look at these patterns. You're telling me that this water has this perfect hexagonal shape that we see in nature. To this day, too. I mean, look at the honeycombs. Look at the bees. I mean, come on. 
if you don't know anything about geometrical patterns and shapes, you should. I should be making a video about that, which I will be if you guys tell me to uh, in the comments section. Please, and again, please like and subscribe because I feel like I'm, I'm giving you guys bangers right now. I haven't seen anybody really talking about this. I mean, like, this is crazy when I first found this lady, gentlemen. I just like, I knew I had to make a video about this, concerning this. But then it's just the importance about water all the time. And then if you think. So anyway, I thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. What do you guys think about Dr. Gerald and his discovery of the fourth element of water, easy water or structured water, exclusion zone water, and the application that it has for our body and a better understanding when it comes to water. I mean, like this just blew my mind and I knew I had to deliver it to you guys. I will be doing a deeper video when it comes pertaining to this water because I barely just scratched the surface. I mean, like if you watch it, watch it, he's on TED Talk, you can watch it. Please get a book, support this guy because I believe what he's saying is really sincere and true. I already ordered my book, it's on its way. But um, after all these implications that he said, this is just mind boggling, everybody and I goes to show you that we're still learning so much to this day and the importance of water and the sun that it has with it. So like I said, please get the book. Uh, it's on Amazon now, you can all read it. Uh, you can look them up, you'll see them on the internet. Uh, but anywho, thank you again. Let's talk about this in the comments section. What do you guys think about all these applications and the benefits of structured water? Uh, more videos will be on the way. I will be diving deeper on this subject about the photons, about the sun and the water structure that it, it has with our body because there's a lot that they're not telling you. They're not giving it to you, right? And you know how I do. I just give you guys facts and with all the applications so you can all look it up yourselves because knowledge is key. Remember, always do your due diligence research 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 because when you do the research things just open up but anyway what do you guys think about all this talk again let's talk again in the comment section thank you all for taking the time and i'll see you all in the next video peace guys